Jean Philippe. What is that? Will you? Fine dining. Hello, everyone. This is Coach David Lubin. On today, we are doing cooking with Coach. Very, very simple, fun, easy recipe. We got our cube steak meat right here. We're going to be covering it with a little flour, a little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic. We're going to be frying those up, then putting them into a nice warm gravy. We're going to be sauteing fresh mushrooms. We're going to be having mashed potatoes and a fresh loaf of warm garlic bread just to warm your heart. Well, enjoy the show. Feel free to watch. Not much to go on here, but... I like using Himalayan sea salt. Really good for you, healthy, efficient. I'm gonna put that aside right there. Then we're gonna put in a dash of garlic powder. Again, healthy, natural, good for your recipes. Flour, yeah, not so much, but it's always a good idea just to coat, just to coat it a little bit. Make it fun, make it exciting. Put the lid right there. Little little spicy pepper that will go into the mix if I can get this jar open. It's finicky today. Now we're gonna take this, blend it with the fork a little. Very, very simple, very fun. And again, it's simple, it's easy, anyone could do it. Well, now we're gonna take the first piece of meat, we're gonna go like this, gonna cover it. I mean, just lather it in the flour, the garlic, I mean, the pepper, the sea salt, the Himalayan sea salt, that, that is key right there, the Himalayan sea salt. Now we're going to go gather the second piece, and we're, ju we're just going to let it sit there in the flour mix. I mean, it's going to be really good, but we're going to put that back there for a moment, cover it, I mean, just... Really dance it all around make sure everything's nice covered flavored Really really good now. We're gonna put that over there for just a second Make sure that you that you have a, a dry fresh rag Wipe everything down with the flour does get all over the place as you were very well know now next we have our fresh sliced up mushrooms these are Mend the feet. What we're going to do here, we're going to put just a little bit of oil into the pan, not a whole lot. Put that in there. We're going to put this on high just for a moment so it lathers all around. Now we're going to take right here the all the sliced mushrooms. And we're going to put some more, guess, that's right, Himalayan sea salt on there. Next, we're going to put just a little dash of the spicy pepper. And the key to sauteing mushrooms, if you don't have saffron, the next best thing to use, just a little bit of dill. A little bit of dill goes a long ways. And again, because of the flour, you just want to make sure that you wipe down everything and nothing gets on there. Move the pan around so the oil is even, nice and hot. And what you do is you take just a little piece, put it in there. If it starts to sizzle, you know it's hot. So little by little, we're going to start to put the other mushrooms in there. I, and I like big chunks. Not these little tiny slivers of mushrooms. No, I mean, you got to throw in the mushrooms there. Put them on there. Let them sit. We're now going to use the same plate. Put the steaks back on. Oh, man, that looks good. That looks real good. But I always believe, make sure that you clean up the mess as you go along so there's not... Now you over here, you take your trusty spoon, and while those are soaking in, just move them around every once in a while. What you want to do is you want to make sure that they're crisp, but just a little bit brown. You don't want them burnt, you don't want them soggy. 
So now what we're going to do, while those are in there, we're going to take the meat one more time and we're going to soak in that flour. Very, very simple. Mmm, that looks good. Magnifico. Put that back on the plate. Grab the other one. And just spin it. Dance with it. Have fun with it. Soak it in. A little pinch here. As I said, we're using pepper. We're using sea salt. We're using garlic. We're doing minced onions. It is the bomb. I'm telling you right now, this is it. The flavor of the day. Those mushrooms are coming on great. Seeing those run just a little bit. Again, you, you don't want these burnt. You want them just nice so you have a little bit of a crisp, a little brownness. Now, do not use do not use frozen mushrooms. They're good if you have to, but once they're in the freezer, they get all soggy and mushy. You know, fresh is always better. If you have to, you have to. I understand that. So now we got that going. We're going to get just just a hair more of the oil. I prefer personally olive oil. But if you don't have it, you don't have it. Not a big deal. Just a little splash. Boom. We're going to turn that down. We're going to let it boil. Let it simmer. Oh, look at that nice sizzle on there. Real nice. Make sure, however, you put the lid on properly. Otherwise, you may open up the door and there'll be oil all over the place and you don't want that. Now, I'm going to show you this right here. Look at that. I mean, nice brown sizzle to it. Nice color. These are just about ready to go back in. So what we'll do, this is Coach David Lubin. We are in the segment of co uh, cooking with Coach today. We're doing the cube steak. We're doing the baked bread. We're doing the mashed potatoes. We got cut off for a second there, but let's roll. This is great while the meat is cooking. Yes, we got out a basic can of cream mushroom soup. That's going to be a key ingredient there while we make the mashed potatoes. This is fun. This is exciting. Let's roll. Make sure that you do your proper measurements. Right here, this particular recipe calls for a cup and a half of water. So we're going to take the big pot. Boy, a trusty spoon right there. Oh, I see a little splatter of flour. Let's get that off the stove. We, again, we don't want nothing burning here. So, we take the big pot. Before we turn the oven on, make sure it's nice and clear. One and a half cups of water. Pour that in there. And we turn this puppy on. Put it on high to get to a nice warm boil, and we get rolling here. Now, normally I would use a a stick, break it down, but we're using the nice nice margin to put in. We're going to start cooking them, the potatoes, and everything is going to go smooth as cherry pie. I mean, this is the bomb recipe for the day. Now, instead of butter, you could always use a little sour cream. Now, sour, I know sour cream, you say, what? That's going to throw off the flavor. No, man, that will enhance the flavor. It is extremely good. This is an amazing recipe. You're going to love it. Now, now be sure, folks, that, we, that when you pour your milk in, that you have fresh milk. You don't get your milk. Ooh, perfect. Just a little over, but that's okay. Go here. Uh, we're going to add in just a little bit of fresh minced garlic. I mean, take a whiff of that right there. Oh, that is heavenly. That is to die for. I mean, I'm telling you right now, this, I can eat this all day long. I'm telling you right now, you, you got to come on over. This, this, this is it. This is the great stuff. We're going to make sure that you stir in 
the butter, and the milk for the potatoes. Now, this is not just any potato recipe. This is the hot book Dutch potato recipe. Okay, we are going to have a lot of fun here. This is going well. In just a minute, folks, we are going to flip the steaks. Take a look at that right here. Fresh cube steaks on the stove. Not quite ready to be flipped over yet, but we are getting there. Man, this is magnifico. Okay, folks, take a look at that fresh cooked cube steak. We got the mashed potatoes cooking. We are back. We're here for the final segment of today's Cooking with the Coach. Right here, we are about to put in the special loaf of bread into the oven. Man, look at that beauty right there. Man, that looks amazing. Does well, we're going to have to try this again. Look at that yummy, yummy, yummy loaf of bread. I mean, it is truly awesome. I know, I'm just here having fun. It is a total blast. We're going to pop this puppy in right now. It's going to go in for about 12 minutes. We're going to slide it in right here. It is now 7.03. So we're going to be taking that out at 7.15 tonight. In the meantime, man, take a look at this. Man, that is some awesome, awesome recipe right there. We got the potatoes going. We got the steak going. We got the bread going. And I will see you in 15 minutes. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Plain and simple. Well, take a look at this, folks. Take a look right now at those potatoes. Take a look at those steaks that are cooking right now. And we got fresh bread in the oven, fresh garlic bread in the oven. Magnifique Well, again, I'm going to put you on pause for just a few moments, and I will be back in seven more minutes as we pull out the bread, and this is going to be the grand finale of tonight's cooking. This has been Coach David Lubin, another fun, exciting edition of Cooking with Coach. Here goes the unveiling here is the warm, fresh garlic bread. Look at that beauty right there. Oh man, it is fresh, it is hot. I can't wait to stick my mouth into it. Well, this is Coach David Lubin signing off. It has been my pleasure cooking for you today. Take care, God bless, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Baby, what you say? I ain't here to, I ain't here to conversate